now closer to home here. Day 27 in the United Auto Workers strike against the Detroit Three. Negotiations continue quietly and slowly. Uh, tonight, local for business editor Rob Maloney lets us in on a new wrinkle in the talks, maybe changing the way we should be looking at the numbers we're hearing here, Rod. Yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting situation that we just confirmed here. Here's the thing. The most recent UAW contract has been or have been for four years. So if they followed that template this year, the end date for the current contract was going to be September 15th of 2027. But Local 4 News has learned that will not be the case this time around. Like so much having changed in the UAW national talks, both the companies and the union are now extending the date in this contract to May 1st of 2028. That's nearly five years from now. So let's look at what that means on the practical level. We have heard the current pay raise numbers on the table with the domestic three exceed 20%, but just for round numbers, let's go with 20%. Under the old contract, that would be a 5% a year raise. But now dividing by five, that number drops to 4% a year, and it's likely they're going to front load the contract and the raises become even smaller down the line. Many dodging raindrops in the picket line today in Auburn Hills at the Stellantis Quality Engineering Center told Local 4 they knew about this development and didn't want to talk about it. But we did find members like Tracy DeJesus at the Sherwood facility and Warren who hadn't. Are you surprised by that? Very. This is the first time I'm hearing it, actually. But she isn't concerned either. Wayne State University business professor Dr. Merrick Masters hadn't heard and he wasn't surprised either. At this point, I'm not surprised at anything that has happened in this set of negotiations. A source close to the negotiations tell Local 4 News there are a number of reasons for this, but mostly because these national talks started immediately after Sean Fain won the presidency. The union is looking to extend that time between a presidential election and when the national talks actually start. This is not unprecedented. I, I think that companies and unions, um, particularly companies, like a longer term to evaluate things. And also ballpark as closely as possible, having given into cost of living adjustments, fixed expenses. The dates are not chosen arbitrarily. They're chosen for a reason. Another reason for this, we're told, is that the union is also looking to take what they believe already is a record contract and start trying to organize the transplant plants down south with companies like Toyota, Honda, and BMW. This allows them more time for that yeah. project. So let me ask you the question mm -hmm. that everyone is asking mm -hmm. you everywhere you go, everyone <laughs> in the newsroom, probably your wife Karen. Yes, precisely. What are the prospects? For a, for a what is it? What's the outlook right now for well, getting a contract? It's done? not looking good, and yeah. and the reason I say that is because it, when you throw in the joint venture plants right. into this, that complicates everything. Like Ford, they're down south in Kentucky, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Stellantis, they've got their announcement today about their plant down in Kokomo, Indiana. Indiana. Those are joint venture plants, different companies. They have to get them on board. So there's a lot to this. I think we're going to be around when the snow's flying. Oh, boy. Which, so we've got moving parts even as it's being done right yeah, now. They're moving forward, but there's so yeah. much to do. Oh, it's boy. going to be a while. Yeah. All right, Rod.